Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Impromptu Cast, episode 2018 one. <laughs> I don't know. Something like um, that. Band lead already 13, joined by the usual co host. That is Band 007. No, 13, sorry. Get joined by the Band 007, sorry. The usual co host. Um, as you can hear, one to come. He had two. Let's see, it's raining. It's wet. It's the dry, apparently what like rain pouring. The old man snoring again. Frogs. <laughs> um. Because we're playing in the pool of April, first episode of the season. So <clears throat> let's try this again. Okay, I was watching the video the other day, right? And oh, here's my thought. Fridges are an important part of society. You live somewhere, you need to have a decent sized fridge. Yeah? I thought so. Well, being on. Being on wet, what's you, you what need size some, place you need some kind of a. Decent if it's, if it's like, like like my place here, then yeah, of course you're going to have a. You're going to need like at least a fridge and a half. Because okay. we've got. Because ours is our one, main fridge, which is like a, a bottom fridge, bottom ass fridge, top ass fridge, and then we've got a big deep freeze as well. So you got your fridge, right? So you're out in the middle of. But nowhere where you don't have a reliable source of electricity you'd still want a fridge of some kind i think the one that was used pretty heavily here in australia was basically a cool box yes where <laughs> you put water on the top and evaporation and wind allows for the fridge to keep pretty cool this, this, this is old school fridge um so, do you think 21st century access to electricity? You need a fridge. You can't get away with it, right? Especially if you want to actually be able to eat. Well, if you, well, if you want to keep meat in that relatively fresh, then yes. Because it's more about meat and fish than anything else. All right. So, oh, well, meat, meat, fish, and dairy actually. Milk, fish, dairy, but like you, you in. Today's day and age, especially in like Australia and America, that you can't get away with not oh, having fuck. a fridge. Thank you for two. I was meant, um, that was meant to run off that ball up here. So a fridge is more of a necessity than an option nowadays. Would be roughly what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Would you yeah. agree with that? Well, there's a lot of yeah, a lot of stuff here we need. We need, we need fridges for. So. Someone who thinks they know better thinks that a fridge is an option, not a necessity. Not in a necessity. Well, well, it's when you, you know, get into a re rental situation like yeah, it's sort of a bit of an option to start with. It's like you, you need at least a bar fridge. You can't get away with it. Well, no, the bar fridge is not very right freezing things, of course. No, but they will keep this cold enough. Things, to... yeah, they'll keep it fresh enough. Um, but you, you still, no matter what, you'll need a fridge. You can't avoid it. You see. It's a necessary evil in today's society. Like a bar fridge is a fair minimum, and if you can get a full size fridge, great. Roaming Millennial started watching a few of her videos. She tried arguing the point alright, this transgender male to female, Riley Black, had a video. Poor people are allowed to get nice things too. Like, yeah, fair enough. Don't spend your money on dogs. Don't spend your money on alcohol. Sure. Oh, 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 I, well, 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 I'll, I'll say spend your money on alcohol if you want to, but spend wisely. Spend wisely. Because, for instance, a bottle of whiskey, like the one I've got still seen in the room, which is not finished yet, that was what, $41? 41, yeah, about 41 And that, And that brand is like it, I'd say it's on the higher side of. Yeah, the wrong whiskey. But the wrong, the so. higher side of quality for the brands, but, um, it's, but it's also, depending on some people, the points average. Personally, but, I like that brand. Say so alcohol or like poor people are people under you know that are under. And also, if I say it's not, it's spending money on anything really, look like but look for bargains and specials because that's some generally the best time, best price to get. Oh, my sister, she can she watch she either watch the video or something, but a, a kid with autism, he's on the autism spectrum. He saved up his money to give his sibling. A goddamn DS, right? This is back when the DS, the original DS, yeah, was no, quite no. expensive. Excuse my French, but it was 
fucking expensive. Like, like all the game consoles. <laughs> like all game consoles, but it was like, it was something like, what, two, three hundred dollars? On the new, and back yeah, 200, like 10 200 years ago that was expensive. 270 I think it was, yeah, or something. Yeah, which like, for a handheld, and that the game, was the game, expensive. The Game, game Boy Advance SP was 220, from yeah. memory. Uh, brand new. Not, you can... Brand new, when uh, it first came Game out. Boy Advance I think was about 200, 210. The SP was also more expensive because it had the backlight and the... Yeah, it, oh. got, it was more expensive. Like, they do come down a bit slowly. But now they're starting to go back up because of how rare some of them are. Yeah. Um, like the original DS, now you can probably sell some of them for three for one dollars spending if you've got one of the limited edition consoles, yeah. if not more. But this kid, he bought a shilling in the DS, you know, it was a bit of a gift and what have you, saved the money, and then some button nugget turned around and went, no, that's not right, you can't spend your money on shit like that. It's like, so the kid's not allowed to save and buy his siblings anything special when they can't afford to buy it just normally. Kind of thing. Um, none of them are down, are they? I put a big down and I missed the second shot there, so you've just got one shot on the start. Right. So, if you had uh, a relative who you knew kind of, they can't afford to buy a DS or whatever, you can afford to save up a little bit and slowly plot away on getting the money for something. Would you do, would you get them something? Well, Think about it a lot. Think about that um, box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards I gave you the other two, was it two Christmases ago? Or something like that, yeah. It was a bladed present, of course, but... Hey, hey, nothing wrong with that. See, I find it hard to find you bloody presents because you've already got everything that I could think of. <laughs> but, um... Well, not, not, I don't know how a lot of stuff we're anime is concerned. I've got a few DVDs and things, but figurines, stuff like that. Oh, that stuff's just, like... Frightfully expensive. Yeah, that, that's where I'm liking and that's sort of fun. That's but you're also that's going where I like the, to be with the animals. Oh shit, that's right. We also could clean out the granite flat and give it a nice amazingness. Oh. Yeah, though, too. I sort of remembered and went, oh wait, need to come down with like some boxes and things like that. That's going to be one hell of a job. <laughs> yeah. Um. But, um. Go, you biscuit. Like if that's dead and then around they are, I reckon. I'd say so, it doesn't matter how quickly it's Because that was on if that was on any other re regular table, that would have been sitting in there or hitting come out. Right, so fridge is necessary at all nowadays. If I want to buy something, I can either buy it outright with and then have no money. Or I can scrimp and scrimp and scrimp and save. And then may and then buy it down the track. But that, but then you yeah, but then you've got things like yeah, you know, the flex and red internet things that are in Orman and places yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so you like, pay a certain amount of money. We're assuming you don't have the access to that. You have to say, okay, you save the goddamn money. You spend your money wisely. And poor people, in my opinion, they can have expensive things too. But, if you, but if you look at society, and I don't mean to offend anyone here, poor people are, are better off virtually nowadays than people who've actually got money. In terms of like the pursuit of happiness and things, they are. Because yeah, they yeah, already... have a look at some people who get what, like, you've probably seen at the old time you've been in the cellos. People coming in for welfare and they don't bloody need it. Yeah. I don't know how many times have they had that happen at the hall or shop at the time I've been there. Yeah, they, they don't actually need it. Like, I, like, I, like I, got nothing, I, I have nothing against them wanting it, that's fine, but... If you need it, but it's if different to if you, like, but if, you, if, if you just use it. If you, that's pretty much what they're doing, is they're just using it to get the free food and stuff. Some of it. Yeah, so that they can then spend their money on stuff that they don't need. Yeah, they just drugs, want drugs, booze, ciggies. Yeah. Okay, ciggies are again they're probably After a, a, what? a necess necessary evil to some people because I can't, you know, they got that addicted. Or this the only way for them to for them to relax enough to be around people on a reg, you know. I I've I'm in a situation where I've gotten so stressed where I like oh, I picked it up. Like, I had too much stress going on in the one platter. Like even I couldn't handle it. And I'd gone through, you know, you you know as well as I as well as I do. I went through the wars as it is for a millennial. Well, we'll say the wars. But... I went through the mental wars. I didn't go through the actual war. Um, what, what? which means I'm actually quite susceptible to going. I'm highly volatile, so I will not go into the defense force. Especially whilst I know I am still pretty volatile. 
Right. Which I, I think it's. I go in if I can talk to, but I wouldn't. Like I will, I will tell them straight up that look. I am more than likely still highly volatile. I don't want to run the risk of going postal and then killing fellow, uh, fellow. But the thing is, that they can they can use that volatility to their advantage. Yeah, but in, in, tra in training is like the no. Let's wait until th let's wait until the mental stabilities come back again, and then go through training. Hopefully, the mental stability yeah. keeps in check. <laughs> Don't you dare stop! <laughs> but, you, you know I can't resist things like that. But money is money is a funny thing. Um, if you like bastard too hard. My biggest problem is those that have the money and they don't fucking spend it. They earn heaps and they don't fucking spend it. They scrimp and scrimp and scrimp and then buy the most expensive damn shit. But then they don't actually really uh, put the money back in the system as often. Yeah, but that would, yeah, just saying, we're the ones that buy these big 55, 6, 5 inch TV and they got next and get the, look, at, look at them and they should be poor, poor as buggery. Yeah. Well, they're poor as buggery and yet they can still afford a fucking a bloody high def. I'm more. Or... No. Oh. No, they're still a high def 4K TV, TV you know, and they're poor, should, they're poor as buggery. Like, how the hell can you afford that with. You know, they got jack all other, you know? Yeah, but sometimes it's like you get the most expensive like, oh, 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 oh. and then you're happy because you've got you've at least got something. Yeah, well, we'll have a look what we've got here. You guys are happy enough. Okay. We, we get, get by. I mean, it's not efficient, but we get by. I mean, if you guys end up being able to afford the most efficient goddamn shit you can get, and then um, Thank you. we'd love like, to win. We'd love to win tests to be able to afford that, but. That, that would be so a massive the, only, the only thing that Tats would do for you guys would basically you'd fix up all the bills, you'd buy the latest crap that's a little, quite a bit more uh, energy efficient, and then you fix it like you fix everything up, and then you put the money into the bank accounts and then not that. touch it. Like, well, yeah, if we want Tats, if we want Tats, we'd, we'd put money in the bank account and get the interest on. Oh yeah. So so like the first thing I would be doing is just straighten your bank account, leave it for a couple of months. Total. Self-titled, yeah. Like, and then you've got another right of play, play thing. All right, you're straight. You'll see a guy and be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll tap that. But like that's one in it, one in a hundred, so to speak. Like I, I know you, you know me, we're both that way. You know? we'll, we'll see a guy. Oh, you look all right. But 99.9% .9 of the time, women, straight on. If a guy is transgender, a transgender guy to girl. Yeah, that, that sort of makes it a little bit more complicated. Right. You find a girl attractive, <laughs> you find out she actually has a penis. What do you do? I'll give you my answer before I let you go. Oh, shit, you have a penis. I didn't sign up for this. I'm out. Still friends, though. Because I've gotten to know you. I've been a similar. You're a nice person. I've been a similar. But that's cool. We should be alright. Hey. Oh, you, you, you got me good. You look like a woman. You've done the job that you want. You, you know. But obviously, a lot of transgender, you can tell what sex they were before him. Oh yeah. Especially if they were a bloke, because the voice gives it away. Adam's apple. <laughs> well, if you don't look at that, just listen to the voice. Yeah, that's it. I mean, there's quite a few you can hear say on telling you like, yep, that was definitely a bloke, dude. Yeah. Even the face can give it away too. Because it's just got that facial, that oh. facial structure that's... That looks like it's going to drop. But like, if they're good, if they're in a situation where you are, ex like you are unsure, you, I would give them the be you know, benefit of the doubt. Let them it. We'll take that. Take it. <laughs> we'll take, take it. it. You'll take that, but I'll take two shots. <laughs> Not that you need it. But like, you'd be, obviously you're on the same position as male. Ask some sister the same thing, and she's like, well, Really depends on how you go about it. It's like, no, at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, you find them attractive, you find out that they're obviously not the gender that they're, you, they are a different gender to what you perceive. Oh, fuck you. Um, but you still want to be friends with them because you've gotten to know them. It's, they're good peeps. Do you break it off and then go, sorry, I, it's, 
Yeah, you've tried, it looks like you've tied it yourself. I'm not tied on. Oh, it's a Jake's leg, what's tied on the No one knows. Um. Prick. As you lose, I just tied it myself then. Oh, I can hit the ball, because I've still got one to go. But... Alright, um. I'll give, you, I'll give you two shots there. I think that hit the black first. It did. It's the only way. Only reason why we've gone in. Um. Alright, another one. Probably not so much on a similar path, but what? I'm probably going to get a bit of a limb here, although it's actually not far away when you look at technology. VR world's like Sword Art Online. <laughs> think about VR world's like Sword Art Online, we're not that far off it. Really. Oh, yeah. You think oh, that'll, that'll confuse so much. Yeah, like, if you, like, if you think, if you think a series the first part of your advice is in 2022. We're oh, 2018 yeah. now. Yeah, only four years <laughs> away, baby. Four years away. Um, but I hope if something like that does go to fruition, we don't, they don't do what Kai ever did in the series. I think we all know that. That's just a dick move. Um, That's one of the key reasons I hate Kai ever. Really. Yeah, it's like, outside of, it was more an experiment for him. Yeah, but yeah. to lock people into the game, that's just being a dick. That's just like, dude, really? Just really? <laughs> I can understand. Uh, it's a bit of logic behind it, it's just... What's up, what's up? You're going you're gonna to claim that Mayuri Kotsuchi has logic in his methods. <laughs> methods to the madness, they say. Methods to the madness. Yeah, but he's all about the madness. Screw the methods. You should know that if you've yeah. I know, or read I know. It. Um... Far out! I get the first win of the day! <laughs> what do you mean? You've had two wins. Have I? Oh yeah, okay. Just trying to get that to run off the side of the ball. Um, so, I've just been watching all these videos. Oh, best person for the job. Is that different to the best woman for the job? Best man for the job? Well, best person is by gender, so... <laughs> Oh, this giant event also got themselves fucking shafted. It's about, um, it's last year at some point. Um, I, I just, it's funny. I'm watching video, I think the first one was by Bering. In res relation to said event. Um, sure I'm not really, I'll just go there. Um, but, like, who says the best person can't come from an all-female group? Bitch, you just counted your own fucking argument. The best person for the job requires that there is no gender assigned to said question. No, no. They, they didn't want a female because they, because they thought you'd have to do the blokes. For the correct what? reason. No, 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 the reason behind they haven't had the women's in the defense course. Yeah, because they're scared that they're scared they'll have to do the blokes. Yeah. I know for a fact. The re no, the reason for it is because it's been historically it's been a male dominated thing because of the fact that, you know, who are the disposable ones? Yeah, if you actually actually look at the facts of shooting and that women always have to do the blokes and that's why they don't want them. The reason being women have much steadier breathing. Blokes well, are more action orientated, we like fighting. Hello. Yeah. I know, but like, it's a, you look at it. Always, all, women always have to do like, especially when it comes to sniping. Yeah, oh, I'm not denying that. The half, that's reason, that's half the reason why they're scared to put the women on the field is because they are shooting blah 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 blah. The reason why they haven't had women in the defence force up until the last, you know, the turn of the century, essentially, was because of the fact that the women's a weren't required, b just like, you think about it, where do women need to be? They need to be raising the young, they need to be nurses, the doctors, the, all the stuff that is indisposable, whereas the men have been more disposable, because, you know, you, man can impregnate yeah, that, yeah, but that's, women. Yeah, that's just stereotyping. That is stereotyping, but that's, that's half the reason why it's been like that. Because it's stupid stereotypes. Um... 
But the best person for the job can't come from an all one gender group because that's discrimination. Like anti discrimination and then you enforce discrimination. Uh, there was an event last year that was pretty late last year too actually. So a dude needs a computer, he's at a university, he needs a computer. He goes to um, like he needs one desperately. So he goes to the nearest computer room. Oh, okay, it's full. I can't use it. He goes to the next nearest computer room. It's an Aboriginal only computer room. It's empty. All right, he uses the computers. He's not Aboriginal. Um, so if he's not Aboriginal, is he not allowed to use the computers? If no, the computers are for everybody to use. Apparently not. All right, there's another problem with that. Really? Um, so you want to remove discrimination by segregating. Segregating itself is discrimination, actually. It's all that the university. We really should remove the female-only scholarships, the Aboriginal-only scholarships. Yeah, the Aboriginal-only ones would put there to try and help them get into the workforce and things like that because there's not that many of them. No, I like. I'm not saying remove them, those kind of, I'm saying remove the ones that are targeting them only to keep them in a position where they haven't earned it. Well, they well, only well, actually, well, they well, let's run on to a slightly similar subject with Australia Day. They were, they were, oh they were wanting to change God. the bloody day. Right. But the thing was, Australia Day is not to do with what they are saying. It wasn't an evasion. What it was was the day that they set foot in Botany Bay. That's that was the first that was, that was the landing of the first fleet. First, that was the fleet day. In Bay. That which means was the which means then it can't be called Invasion Day because they hadn't yet invaded the lands. It can't be called um, but, yeah, Survivors Day because there were no survivors at that time. The only survivors were the ones that actually got off the damn ships in the first place. That was the, the other thing is, though, if I changed it to another day, we'd still have the same argument. Yeah. And how many days look, are there look, for look, Aboriginals? Look, look, I'll, look I'll, I'll gladly admit, us, us Europeans, we did take the land off them, I'll admit that. Yeah, by a that, brute force. That's a yeah, with brute force, too. And it's, and it's like the Native, Native Americans, the American Indians, we, they did the same thing there. Yeah. And I was like, okay, fair enough, we, we did screw up what our ancestors did. But why should we be paying the costs of our ancestors when they've already atoned for their sins? Yeah, but it's yeah, but it's like Germany in World War Two. They've not they finished paying for the damage that they paid in 2012, but yet they they're still atoning for that. Yeah, there is no atoning for what they did in the Holocaust. I don't give a turkey who you are. Okay, I'm from German descent, right? I fair enough. Germans, well, Hitler and his crew. I won't lie, they screwed up. The problem is, you're forcing every German that still lives there to atone for shit that happened near a century ago and to still be apologetic for their ancestors after everything they've done to fix the mess up that was caused by their ancestors. I, I know you, like, damn I know son, you, that's, I, that is a form of discrimination. Because I, I know if you are, I reckon I'd be pretty good. If you ask quite a few Jews over there in Austria right now, they wouldn't forgive them. I mean, I don't blame them for not forgiving them, actually, if you want what might. Okay, don't forgive the ones that did it, but forgive the ones that are trying to atone for the said sins, have to atone for it well, tenfold, it's... and are trying to do the right thing. Give them the, you know, okay, so your answer's well, fucked so, up, well, fair enough, we're still buddies, you know, we're yeah, buddies. Well, it's like when um, the American sunk one of a day on Maru, and killed the sol all the soldiers on that, one of them being my great uncle, actually. They, I'll give, look, I'll give Japan props for disguising it as a warship because they were crafty that way. Well, I was starving. Them, yeah, damn I'll, good. I'll give, them, I'll give them props, props for that because they were ruthless. But I, but for actually, I do, like, I, don't know, I do forgive the Americans for making the mistake, but really they should have taken a little more care. Yeah. Because you know, because mistakes like that, and it's happened in Iraq, the blacks went flying, the went flying, the planes were causing their fire, the missile, and that, ah, crap. Oh yeah. So there's a part of the real I still was a focus one of their, their friendly like fuck. Yeah, but the fact that we're 
Right, All this crap's happening. Mistakes happen, happen, but really, you should be a little more careful. Okay, we're now a hundred years. Wait, it's like the HMA is Sydney. But it's not a hundred years since the end of the World War Two. Um, it was like, yeah. like HMA Sydney. The captain of that knew he could, he knew there was a merchant raider in the area, and he and he, had, he the guns he had he could have he could have sat bloody twenty miles away and blown him out of the water. Oh, oh my easy. But because the right, right, the version right, of being cormorant, if people don't know, actually it sucked him in, and because once he got under the range of the guns, he was safe. Mm. And because Sydney was much, much bigger than the cormorant, it took a lot, a lot longer to move it. I turn. Yeah. But my problem is Australia's got Australia Day. Uh, English, my dear sir. <laughs> Australia already has enough days and weeks as it is in the year that we're atoning for our sins for our ancestors or not our ancestors, as for some of us in the or we're allowing, f like, I know I've got a DNA in there. I have ABO. I'm part of it, probably at a 16th mate. I don't know. But I see other Ab Aboriginals nowadays, and it's a case of, well, What's the point in turning around and going, oh, we still need recon recompensation because of our ancestors? Sure. You know what? I'm friends now, We are now in a situation where I'm you friends. can fucking earn your way through the world. I'm, I'm friends with you, like, you Aboriginals, eh? They've never really shown any disdain towards, towards the, the, us white folk. Yeah. And my problem more is to do with the fact that we're... We're now in a situation where well over 100 years after the events, Oh, so two, 200 years, I mean, 230 well, years after. Well, 200 actually. for Australia then, in terms of that one. But, um... You remember that was 1778, thereabouts? Uh, January 26, 1788. Yeah, yeah, about 200. Right? Um, but the Aboriginal, uh, uh, the Aboriginals now... Fuck you, Wayne! <laughs> <laughs> so what he did just then there, folks, was he sunk his ball and the black ball at the same time when it was the last ball he needed to do after... Don't get wrong, but don't get wrong, bloody good shot. Oh, yeah, I'll oh, give you that. I'll give you fucking props, man. That was pretty good. I was not even trying to do that. Next time, can you make sure it's, you know, one I was trying to get the black ball to sit down there because I knew it would go that way, but. This uh, time, once someone put you in the right spot, it just keeps rolling. Yeah, well. Um, no, my problem with Australia Day and with, you know, all this crap that's going on in the world, we're getting all these goddamn motherfucking snowflakes. You're a fucking snowflake if you have a problem with Australia. But a lot of people at the end become you the Union Jack. No, we become a fucking uh, uh, Republican. I think it's Republic. Republic. Yes, remove the Union Jack. Sure, but then you would have to turn around to every fucking soldier that has been and is still going through the defence force and go. You no longer support this flag that we currently have. You have to now support a new flag. Well, I know you would have a goddamn uproar. Well, I know for a I know for a fact my old man doesn't want to become a republic. He served under the flag. So. I don't want to become a republic. You know why? God saved the goddamn queen, right? That we that's have it. A, your father would remember singing that at school. Yeah, my mother too. Right, my mum is full German ancestry. She knows exactly what a German's like. She probably has a German national anthem, anyway. No. Well, she might, I don't. Freely. <laughs> the trees are sitting on the edge. But, um, Australian, eh? I'm an Australian. Proud Australian. We become a republic? Screw you. Like, yeah, but then you have, if we become a republic, we don't have God Save the Queen. We have, we a, have, we have a new anthem. We'll have a new anthem. Which, which big question if that were the case, what would it, what would it be? Because people said waltzing with daughter, but that's not really national anthem because that doesn't describe the country. It's you good, could, they have tell you what you could do would be, we are Australian, or home among the gum trees. But the only two I could see is... Uh, uh, we are Australian would be the most Because that accurate. was a contender at one point, we are Australian. Yeah. Home oh. among the gum trees thing was at one point as well. Yeah, that both been at some point. Because they had a re referendum in the angles in the 80s to, to change the anthem. And, the, the problem, my main problem with the whole situation is, um, and I feel sorry for America because they're going through the same thing as well, right? They got Trump and then things just went downhill. Some things actually go on up hill, but yeah, like there's always up and down, ups and downs with new presidents and things. Trump, I'm going to say it right now, 
These are fucking cunts. You mean gumshoes? <laughs> These are, no, even gumshoes is better than him. Trump's an absolute wanker. But you know what he's done for his country? He's helping bring him away from the chance of another recession anytime soon. He's creating jobs. He's bringing the jobs back home. He's slowing down the illegal immigration. Yeah, but the problem is we actually really need a recession to reset everything now. Yeah? We do now. You need, should have a recession every 10 to 15 years. <laughs> that ball, that ball come through the slide and just pretend ding wee. Yeah, you really need a recession every you know, so every 10 to 15 years to reset everything because the prices just get out of hand. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. But like, oh, I got a like, where was I? Where was I the other day? Uh, I was but like talking the... with uh, Black I worked with Salvos. He, he was down at Ararat because he think his sister in law, brother in law lives down there. But the price of fuel in Melbourne was a dollar fifty dollar fifty something. That was only about two weeks two, three weeks ago. Yeah. Well then went out and up in well, Vortex ninety five, which is the variant of unleaded. That's uh, was a dollar fifty two point five or nine at Woolies Petrol. Yeah. The other day. Uh, I'm paying a dollar twenty-seven point something, but I'm going the dirtiest, cheapest damn fuel I can get in town, and that's at Abco. That's where you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. Otherwise, I'm looking about a dollar forty, yeah, well, we're a dollar fifty, dollar thirty-nine point nine, dollar dollar forty-three or something. Right, we're actually higher than you at the moment. Would on go of course, but uh, Australia. Yeah, they, also, black guy work, but it's not. It's not even friggin. Australian, he's European. Okay, so he did come from Europe. Yes. Right. That's cool. Let's, let's say, where, where did he come from? When he gets cold, he gets fucking cold. England? Nope. Russia? Nope. Near Russia, though. Well, that doesn't help things. I can only think of the Scandinavian area. No. No? I do have friends from Scandinavia, though. Alright, where is he? Where is he from? Turkey. Oh, of course. <laughs> the bloody Turk. That's explain it. When you're in East, Eastern Turkey, it gets oh, yeah, minus Turkey. 40 below easy. <laughs> Eastern oh, 40, Turkey, 40 like, below is not a problem. But my, so our, we, our winter would be like summer compared to that. Yeah, and our summer's <laughs> goddamn by the fucking heat wave for them. No, throughout. More than that. Um, but the problem with Australia Day is we've already got so many days for the Aboriginals. Right. Australia Day stays as Australia Day. It is the day to celebrate Australia actually coming into existence as, like, the potential. Well, Australia was already named Australia when they landed, so... Yeah, uh, Terra Australis. Exactly. Great Southern Land. Hence why we've got the song from us, that's Great Southern Land, because they ended up partly based on that as far as the inspiration goes. Yeah, but, like, change the day? No. They want to check the, an idea is oh, to to May 8th, because, you know, May. Yeah, I No, know. no. Do you know the historical context of the day? Do you understand? Uh, invasion, invasion Day? No. Survivor's Day? No. Again, you're wrong. Invasion uh, Day is completely different me. to the idea of actually, you know, landing. That's the day they landed. That's not the day they started invading. Invading was well before then. Well, okay, well, Captain Cook actually hit the East Coast in that thing was 1770 before, he, before they even actually had the first leak in there. Yeah. So you want to turn around and say Invasion Day? No. I put an issue on that. Well, what about Van Diemen? Van Diemen's Land. Yeah. And for those who don't know, Van Diemen's Land is the original name of Tasmania. Yeah, they changed it from Van Diemen's Land to Tasmania because it didn't to make it less scary. But people still Named know. after the guy that actually found yeah, Van Diemen. I can't think of his Able, name. Yeah, the, no, they named it after the king of Dutch, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but it was named after the then king, Van Diemen. Yeah. They named it to the founder, the original actual founder of Tasmania. Yeah, Tasman, I became. Abel Tasman. Yeah. He right. became a sir after that, yeah. partially because of it. Sir Abel Tasman. Um, and they also got Tasman Sea as well. Yep, possibly. I think named after a one, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that one. Do we change to Day? No, no, we don't. Right, we should have had this discussion before, like earlier in the month. Well, would have if we were down. Yeah, whatever. 
Australia Day, don't change the dates. You just, you're losing the historical context. We become a Republican, Republican sure, we change the flag. Till then, don't uh, say, uh, don't do uh, nothing. On a similar flag. note, similar, what if I decide to change Romans Day or Anzac Day? I'd shoot you myself. I mean, not you, but if no, you I know what you mean. Change, you change the day, right? If you change the day that we celebrate an event, you're losing the historical context. Exactly. You are losing everything about that day that makes that day what it is. The Anzac Day has been the 25th of April for the obvious reason. That's when they landed on Gallipoli. Which actually should never have landed there, I hasten to lay. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yeah, that's pretty important. Fucking like smart ass. I was actually doing that to avoid both balls. I should have went straight in without them, but. Yeah, but yeah, um, I'll take it. You changed Australia. Uh, you changed Australia Day. You lose its context. You changed Remembrance Day. Like for us, it's Remembrance Day in November 11. We celebrate um, no, November well, 11th proper, at 11 o'clock. Its proper name is actually Armistice Day, but. But we re we refer to it as Remembrance Day because of the fact that it's is that a day of remembrance. Yeah, that's on the armistice day officially in World War One. Yeah. Uh, the reason why it's 11 o'clock, uh, the 11th of the 11th at 11. Because that's the time they signed it. There you go. That's why we have two minutes silence then. Well, you two sure, minutes well, silence. Well, actually, it's officially two minutes, but to save time, people get back to work, they only do one. Yeah. But we who don't have work at that time, Oh, I've always observed one minute silence, so I've never worried about it too much. I've, same here, but I, I'll still... Because that's why we do in schools, one minute silence. Yeah. But... Yeah, Anzac Day never really was much of an issue. Actually, usually it was just... I think generally it was at the end of the week anyway, so we had to, we had the day off. So. Yeah, for us it was. Yeah. But um, the problem there... And actually, what that changed, that's another argument. Why the hell did they change public holiday? Oh, yeah, that was... Take that off, but it made good day, and probably, you know, the day before Grand Final Day holiday. What the to hell? To make more people get to, be able to get to wherever the event is for the Grand Final. No! I know what's more you, important, you and it's not the Grand Final. idiots. <laughs> that was, uh... Um, Daniel Andrews. Daniel Andrews. Yeah, I'd shoot and bastard myself. That sounds unpatriotic, but I would shoot him because he removed... <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again, you need to fucking learn. Stop bloody trying to give me the game. Hey, if that was on a comp table, that wouldn't have gone down. No. That was not. Remember, the comp tables were a bit bigger than this one. Okay, that was shite. Whatever it is. Uh oh, I have a shite on there. It's like, like the merging of the fucking MFB to the CFA. Dumbest maneuver you can get. And he served at the fucking CFA in the bush box there, so the nine bush fights. Yeah, like, we, we, come on! <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, we're actually starting to sound like goddamn snowflakes at the moment. <laughs> with, without the CFA, the land wouldn't be safe to tear, so you start firing the main that bloody putting you around. And then there's the one in the bush, it was a tears and throw, I think, uh, like Buffalo. Uh, they yep. locked the trucks on the fucking track, out the lines, you know, the tears, they come back, and nothing's bloody happening, and the CFA boys couldn't even, well, either just getting through, or if they couldn't get to the fire. Because the trucks, are, like DSC trucks, are on the road. Alright, this is where I find it amusing that we're, we're starting to sound like snowflakes. And you know what a snowflake is? Someone that can't handle life. No, we ain't snowflakes. We can handle life. Try living in the areas that we live in and you'll, you'll know why we say what we say. Alright, we're trying to say that right now we're seeing the world go, go up in flames and we're not exactly standing for our environment, our lives put at risk. A snowflake... Alright, this is what a snowflake is. Goddamn motherfucking wine and piece of shit. Now, I hate to be a French, a user of heavy, heavy French, but if you can't handle life, get the fuck over it. This is a Right? Oh! Black Lives Matter. Racist, discriminatory, terrorist group. Right, this is from a mate, he's turned around and said it's a terrorist group because of the fact that it meets the three mu three main criteria for terrorism. That's for him to explain and us to, you know... I think he needs to get a few screws checked. Why, because it's, um... Hold on, I've got another shot. How is it... Not a, Black Lives Matter is still a form of discrimination. 
Yeah, but if he's saying throw him in criteria for terror, if he wants to get a few screws checked. No, ISIS is definitely in terror, but... Yeah, but ISIS is not the only one out there that has, has dark-skinned people. No, I'm not, we're not saying Have, 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 have a look at the gangs in Melbourne. Yeah, well, what he's saying is it's... The Black Lives Matter movement is a terrorist movement because it is inciting... It's methodologies that um, line up with terrorism, right? And it is inciting hate. As much as they want to try and claim that it's not, you're trying, you're advocating for the death of white. You're advocating for the discrimination against white. You're advocating for the discrimination in any form, shape, or form. You're turning around and asking for the people that are now in the position to earn a decent life to still get compensation and put those that still haven't got right do you know how many people uh, do you know what the statistics are in america for blacks on blacks and blacks on whites and whites on blacks i guarantee you they turn around and say oh the black person is more likely to beat up a black person really a white person is more likely to beat up a white person not racist just statistics right there a black cop's more likely to shoot a black person. A white cop's more likely to shoot a white person. Statistics, right? Yeah, but if you look at a lot of the people that have been killed by the cops in recent times over there, they've been, they've been black people. And, but they're not, I'm not saying, I'm and not going to deny that. And they've been mostly white cops that have been doing it too, if I remember correctly. That's the ones that we're seeing. That's the ones that we are being That's shown. Half. That's not half of the fucking problem. That's three quarters of the problem is inaccurate representation. And I think, no, I haven't told myself, okay. That's where the problem lies, is we're getting inaccurate and incorrect representation of statistics and the like through media. Feminism, third wave feminism, bullshit. Feminism in its current form, or rather the third wave of it, as it's referred to, female supremacy. That's what it is, that's what they want. It's female superiority in high paying, low effort jobs. They don't want to do the manual work that us guys have historically been doing and still do. You don't hear them advocating for more women in sanitation, or in garbage, or, or in uh, the film the electrical systems and what have you. They're not advocating for it. They want women in cushy jobs, earning more. They're more why, don't, why don't they just be sluts then? That would be more efficient. They want more money for less work. I promise. That's, that's, that's why you get a little bit of hate me saying that, but I'm oh, basically saying what they probably what they're probably thinking. Well, I mean, what's okay. well, that's pretty much what you're saying. I mean. okay, yeah. <laughs> what is the difference between equality of opportunity and equality of outcome? I want I want to hear your thoughts there. Equality of outcome, equality of opportunity. What is it, what it, what's the difference? Before I get into the next one, which is anti anti-fascists. Sorry, the anti-fascists. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. You and I are gonna get a look. I'm gonna have like this, and we're gonna get shot fucking hard. <laughs> so glad I can't monetize this, but damn, son. Damn. I'm not monetizing any of my videos at the moment. I can't be bothered. I can't. I'm not getting, I'm not getting abused quickly enough. <laughs> this is beautiful. All right, so equality. Of, what is equality of opportunity? Well, basically, it's, basically, it's an eloquent way of saying equal opportunity. All right, what's equality of outcome? Uh, well, uh, so like equal outcome for everyone, sort of thing. I think. Okay. Being, now, you're being very eloquent again. <laughs> Without confusing you. Oh, 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 <laughs> Good around they one shot though. Oh no, I don't know. I'll my balls drop. Nah. Okay, so this is where this is where it's fun, right? Equality of opportunity is you have equal opportunity, right? If you um I have less qualifications than you, I have less chance of getting a job than you that requires the qualifications. We have the same qualifications, you're black, I'm white then there's no form of discrimination We get whoever gets a job is based on skills and prior experience. No discrimination in any kind. Equality of outcome is 
I work nine to five, I get 300 bucks a day. You work nine to 12, you get 300 as, as well. You haven't worked half as hard as me. You get more, you essentially get more money for, this, for the same amount of work. But it right? depends on what the job is too. No, no, assuming, it's, okay. If you're assuming the same job, then- Assuming then the same job, the same hours, same pay. Right, that's, that's fair enough. Assuming the same job, I work nine to five, you work nine to twelve, we both get three hundred on that day, on those days, that kind of day. Is that fair? No! I work my goddamn ass off for another five hours. That's what a quality of it, outcome is, is the amount of the amount of work you get the same amount as like that's that's stupid. That is flawed logic. Um, big. I guess that's a big then. I didn't expect that to actually Hang on. They're touching. touching. Just be careful. Alright, then now I can move. Right, so you see where there's a problem is occurring. You start, you're you starting to make the connections now? The world is getting screwed up because of the third wave feminists. Not the first wave. The first wave for, were for equality. For wi the ability for women to vote, the ability for women to actually get into well, personal, jobs well, that personally, they I, really should be in anyway. Yeah, personally, I think women should have always had the right to vote. The um, right that, vote. Was, that was just men wanted, men wanted to be massive supremacists and stop it. It was a inaccurate. The um, there was now, inaccurate, all, incomplete thinking that led to the uh, women weren't seen as able to make accurate decisions, but I, but I might unbiased have, decisions, I might which have, they... In some regard, if it wasn't for Florence Nightingale, and I know this is not Australia specifically, if it wasn't for people like Florence Nightingale, women wouldn't have some of the rights that they do now. That's what we're after, is equal rights. Have, have, equal have a look at the massive influence she had on medicine oh, and probably a few other things. I don't have a lot of research on it, but... So, equal representation is bullshit. 50% of the workforce in any job should be with No. We should be seeing 50% of the workforce overall being women. We should be seeing... We shouldn't be hearing of the need to push for quotas. Shouldn't. At all. Because what that does is that kicks out yeah, well, have maybe have three quarters of your potential yeah, well, field. Have, well, have a, look, have a look at the police force and the ambos and that. They should be male dominated for two reasons. One, actually, Amber yeah, probably should be more female dominated. Actually, no, actually, the caring side. All right, so to be perfectly honest, the drivers should be male, the carers should be female. But if that makes sense. Like, I'm not being, I'm not trying to be sexist. I'm trying to make well, sure that there's good. Well, I say it's a pretty balanced field, the Amber. At the moment, yeah. But Which the I, cops are more male dominated for the obvious reason. Men are, statistically speaking. Biologically speaking, should be the stronger, faster. Although, a lot, sex although that's a lot of bullshit in some regards. I oh, know women can be stronger than men. Women can be smarter than men. Like, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not even going to go anywhere down that with being women being smarter than men. That's kind of. That's okay. That's cutting a point. <laughs> that's why we I'm, know some dumb women. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm not going down there. <laughs> men should be the greater representation for police. Because we need those that can actually handle oh, bastard. the workload, that can actually hold another guy down. Because when you think about it, the ones that are going to do more damage are the men. In terms of like resisting arrest and shit. You need the men for that situation. The money I don't know whether it's just me, but certain work like sub okay, so you seem to be more dominated by one sex than the other. Yeah. By some way, in vanilla, I think no, there's more girls than there are blokes there, I think. Oh, at the moment, I think. Yeah, well, they've been that way for, like, for a while, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, I, in terms of teaching, like teachers and that, should be female dominated with the exception of PE. And should the, be male dominated for the obvious the reasons. And yeah, and the trade should be male dominated. I mean, we'll have a look at the trades of paper when we were there. Marshall again? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the trades were there. We had Mr. Wills, Mr. Berger, Mr. Rogers, um, Roger Dodge. Violet. 
Well, we had quite a few. Yeah, we, we all the frogs there were male. We had that was a this is Patton, I think it was for art. I think so, yeah. Was it Patton or Peyton? I can't get it which way it was meant to be brand oh. It's been too long, man. Yeah, but most of the, the truck areas on the E block were all were all male except for well, we were all male actually except for art. Yeah. And yeah, and some of it's like English and social studies. Which some people know is a strata of social Japanese studies and society environment, if you want to be technically correct. They, they were sort of div div that just depends on what year you were in. Say like maths and science. Yep. I mean, um, we, I mean we had, well, me and you both had Mr. Ting for Science C. Yep. Which was. Which was to do with physics and astrology yeah, and things. Thing, yeah. We had old Mr. Ting, he was a. Yeah, I, had, I, had Mrs. I had Mrs. Lee for Science B. I think I had Science A until Mr. Ashton took over. <laughs> I had Science B, which was more like biology and things like yeah, that. Yeah, actually, screwed, actually screwed my curriculum up. Well. I, I think the same teacher you had for biology in year 11, 12. I Ms. had Miss Martin was Miss Martin, one. yeah. She was year 12. I had Miss John for around um, year 11. And we're, we're spouting names, it wouldn't be important on YouTube, but. We had some pretty sweet ass motherfucking teachers. Right, we'll keep and, and actually speaking on the script. Wow. Yo, one dead. What? No. No, that's mine. Oh, bloody typical. Absolutely typical. What are we at uh, percent wise? I just watched the light. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Um, anyway, as I was, as I was saying, we'll do with the discriminating. You know, how many times do kids as well say they couldn't understand certain teachers? Oh, yeah. Like, we like had... Miss Nadan, Miss John. I think couple had trouble there with Miss Gallagher as well. Miss Gallagher was Scottish. Scottish. I never. She had the thinnest bloody Scottish accent you could get. How could you not understand her? I think it was more her pronunciation of some words that got a lot of people. I'm missing that on, she's... She, she, her problem was not so much that you couldn't understand, it was because she talked fast. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I found with, uh, I think, Chinese... Let's see, Chinese, Japanese, and Indian were the main ones that I've... that I have met that talk... <laughs> fast. Right, so... Spot it. Uh, Miss Nadan is, I think girls. she was, I think she was Indian? Miss Nadan? Yeah. No, she wasn't. Huh? or something. Oh, I can't kind of remember. But yeah, Miss she John. talked quick. Like, Miss if you John, Miss, it, Miss uh, John was Indian. I know that's for a fact. Oh, yeah. And they talked fast. Like, but she was actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm like, huh? If anything, if she was Indian, but I think she'd been over here for a little while. Cause I'd it, say it, so. It wasn't necessarily thick like some of them. Because some of them got, some of them you can really tell are still thick. But, uh, she must have been over a few years, but I don't think, I don't think she had that full accent. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's it's just so. We bastard. Feminism, first wave, cool. They did, they were doing it for the right reason. Second wave was starting to push the boundaries and actually advocate for some shit that wasn't exactly great. Third wave, which is what we're dealing with now. Which is, you've heard of the actress Emma Watson? Yeah. She's part of what's known as the third wave. Well, how can you not know her if you've watched Harry Potter? <laughs> Shh. We're assuming for the listeners out there that they might have heard of her. No, I'm pretty she's sure part of the third wave. She's part of the third wave feminism because that's the group that she got in with. Now, I'm not going to say all feminists are fucking cockheads, uh, but I'm going to say that. We have a extremely high. Um, we've got more than is necessary who are advocating for shit that really should be advocated for. Have to. At least it's not a win. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> um. Oh, what was the? Uh, in my opinion, feminism itself should be dead. It should no longer, it should be cold, it should be, that's it, all is said and done. We should now be fighting for egalitarianism. Yeah, that's... Would that be the right way to say it, egalitarianism? What the hell are you even going on about? 
equal rights for everybody. Now, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah, I suppose we should really should have equal rights. How the hell is a warmer there than out? And um, you do realise with hot days, the heat gets trapped in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> the heat just, just washed out. It's like, oh, that was nice. <laughs> um, you're shot now. The guard turn. Sweet. Let's go for that now. Number is famous or crap. Social justice warriors, just die out, please. You're advocating for discrimination by segregation and the like. What? No. I only gave you one shot, remember? Yeah, but I fought it one. Yeah, and then you're gone. Ah, oh, and then I get the one. Yeah, you hit that one and miss, so. I was just about, because you're about to go for another shot. I was like, hang on a second. You missed that one. You. So that's a good shot for me, but. That's where we go. I wasn't exactly lined up on that green ball anyway. It's alright now, it's a good shot. Hmm. Slightly changed the outcome, but what is. But uh, social justice warriors, a bunch of pricks. I don't like the idea of... So, social justice warriors are trying to fight discrimination by using discrimination. That makes sense. Um... I'm anti-feminist. I'm not saying I don't like women. I love me women. I just don't like the idea of feminism at the moment. Social justice warriors are the same. Like you know, I don't like is I don't like the movement. Um, it starts to get really weird. Do you know what a men's rights activist is? Well, that was unexpected. Um, it's social time as a women's rights activist. It's, 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 yeah, it's essentially <laughs> feminists, but. Right now, they're advocating for... Thank you! <laughs> there, you won. Now, don't bitch too much about it now. Right, a men's... An MRA is essentially first wave feminists, but for men, this time. So it's really, really, really weird. So right now, we're starting to see discrimination against men becoming more and more prevalent, and they're trying to fight that from actually starting up again. Uh, Apparently in America there's something like a couple of thousand, or like, oh sorry, not a couple of thousand, a couple of hundred women's shelters and only two men's shelters or boys' shelters or anything like that in the in the whole of the United States of America. And they're trying to fight that. They're trying to get more. And guess who would guess what happened to them creating the, um, actually making the. Uh, Safe house for the men and the boys. Now. Oh, I didn't get it finished. You know why? This is, this is gonna, you might laugh at this. The reason why it didn't get built? Feminists. Why am I Third not surprised? Third wave feminists. Why am I not surprised? It's a case of, well, I suppose that kind of explains why we're not actually seeing any positive outcomes coming from all this crap. There you go. <laughs> You're one in the center. <laughs> that's a big, that's a big. Big, you got a small. Thank you, choice. Blue or purple? <laughs> you watch. Just watch that, it's getting a bit of water on it, eh? Uh, yeah, it's alright. Just watch out, kid. Itching, stinking. I'm gonna go with bigs, because it doesn't really matter. Well, you had the choice. Yeah. For once. <laughs> but, oh, that's the first gun that I've actually had the choice. There you go, it's going. Oh, intro? Uh -uh. So, you see how like, the situation is oh, in America? Shot and, shot. and we're seeing a trickle down effect. Not so hot. Not happening. Still not worth the risk. Um, so, okay, I'm. I'm Australia is not America. Yes. Are we influenced by America? Yes. You gonna try and deny that one, or are you actually? Well, there's nothing I can really say. I'd be screwed either way. So. Well, if you said no, it's just like, hang on a second. What about what's actually going on in America? <laughs> Why is it important we know about what goes on in the world? Because, well, we're an island nation, so. 
We're almost out of the line. It's all in the mode. Fuck! It's not gonna love it! Oh. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, now we're seeing some questions. Hold on a second. Um, click. Wow. I'm just gonna temporarily, temporarily stop it there. It, this is gonna look like an hour, two hour long episode, but anyways. Go with that? Well, we haven't exactly done one for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Alright, I'll just. So basically, we're going to do it or what have you want? Well, we're just going to discuss the problem of the of the situation in America in terms of the feminists, the SJWs, and what have you. So that this one has a better understanding of actually what I'm blathering, what I've been blathering about. When we get back, we're going to be talking about who knows what. Sound cool? The anime could be one of the ones in there, probably. Could be. Cool with that? Yeah, whatever. Oh. You know, freaking. What? Besides the fact that we're obviously <gasps> back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, it's like a couple of hours after. The a problem. couple? <laughs> yeah, about three hours. That's a little more than a couple. Ugh. So we were talking about, well, discussing hating on SJWs, feminists. With whatever we could think everything of. everything that is stupid with the world at the moment. But right now, we're just playing a little bit of, what, damn Digimon. Digimon story, Cyber Sleuth, Hacker's Memory. Cool. Which, of course, I have beaten, but, you know, it's just what I do. Yeah, that's you. Uh, oh, wait. So, there. Yeah. Uh, well. Um, What? Removes bug from one ally or source HP. No way. Revives one ally of 50% max HP. Does that work? I don't have the DX, but why not? There are certain Digimon with the ability to revive, but that costs 30 SP to do, which is a, can be a bugger. Which you don't have. And I don't tend to use revive very often anyhow, so... Hit charge. Oh, for the love of... Really? For the love of... Might go that one with that. Ooh. Gonna be a fun draw back home. Don't use Celestial Blade, no! Again. Um, change. I don't want that. See, I need health. Um, no. Jesus, freaking fun. Intelligence fifty. Uh, we was gonna talk about game. Wait, anime, but I don't know what no one else wants to talk about. Um, give me a revival. One. To change this one for one that can actually take a hit. Um, ooh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's that's how I do it. Oh. Ooh, heads up. Ugh. Just 
cook in a second this time. There's a drink down there. The one we're going to over, sir. Bed. There we go. Beverage. That is not the milk variety, that is iced coffee. Right. <laughs> so, are there any animes with which you're interested in that's coming out in the next month? Or so? I haven't really looked into that. No? Nor is your boy. Oh, shut up, you. Takes care of that one. Is anyone here who's naughty? It's undoubtedly you. Well, obviously, you don't have any anime you're after I take. What got right now, no. I am going to go heal and grind. Well, you're already grinding, so what the rest does that make? I suppose I can just. Does the Numa one have to be in the battle? Yes. I can just put him in, take him out. And do nah, it. he has to be in the battle at the end of it. Oh, really? And to swap out, like, I can want to cost you a turn. No. Oh, that Digimon's turn, anyway. The Digimon that got swapped out? Yeah, it costs you that Digimon's turn, if it's on that turn. If it's that Digimon's turn when you swap out. But if it's another Digimon, it doesn't cost you the turn. It just costs you that Digimon's turn that you were using to swap out. Huh? Alright, so I need bunny blades. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, let's see, Ruby season f uh, volume five finished. Crap. Um. Let's see, Ruby Volume 5 finished. Uh, second season of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid coming out. I don't know exactly when, but at some point in the near future. Um. You can take this shit. Quite literally. <laughs> um, I think Well, one anime, anime I really like is coming out back in April, season 4. High school titties. Well, you and your bloody bunny babes. Oh, it's obviously out in Japan already. No. They don't get it until April. I was meaning the mung, actually. Oh, no, the mung's already out. Mung's already been out for a while now. Next time, think before you say I something. said anime. Yeah, but think before you say something, because you didn't realise that I meant the manga. Yeah. All, you don't generally have anime without the manga. You can in some circumstances, but generally you have both. And normally, might lead to a perfect example, the manga's ahead. Although, in the case of Dragon Ball Super, that's not true. Where is it? Store. Really? Uh, crap. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> Shove it. Uh, no. There's nothing coming out, to be honest. Nothing really can any of us need to worry about. Well, neither of us, I should say. Um, I've been keeping up with um, Dragon Ball Super on via YouTube. They're out, I think, episode 48. Well, dubbing episode 48, anyway, if I haven't already. Hmm. There's actually been some controversy over um, Sean Chemmel's voices for um, Goku Black as well. Why? Because he uses a, a gr more gritty voice for the regular form. But when he goes Super Saiyan Rose, it's actually much more eloquent British accent. Yeah, I don't know that, with that. 
Yeah, but it's a controversy area because it's not consistent. Normally when you have characters transform, like... Well, Goku's voice I was here, it gets a little bit dark, more greedy when he transforms because of the way Super Saiyan works. But a complete, complete change in voice from two different forms? I don't think so. The only character that's done that is actually Cell, but that was to be expected because of the way his forms work. But if you were going for eloquence with Goku Black, with the Super Saiyan Rosé, they nearly could have Kyle Abair voice him. See, I'm not going to bother with trying to catch up to any of the Dragon Balls. No reason you can't watch Dragon Ball Super on YouTube. Everything's there. Oh, no, I've just got a whole bunch of other stuff on. Trying to catch up on it. So yeah, though, if I was going to say Dragon Ball Super, watch, watch from episode 90, really. There's nothing particularly interesting before that. Two of them are the most interesting part. Unless you want to watch the Universe 6 exhibition, Mac. Exhibition tournament. Well, but if you're going to watch an anime, you might as well watch it all. Don't be a pussy little bitch. And I end up watching all, ble all Bleach up to the, to the end of the Ironka arc. And then with the fake code cooler at the end, but... But really, you don't need to watch probably the first ten episodes. <laughs> it doesn't really give you much. Oh, the... Wait, the... Fake Katakura Town arc. Yeah, I'm at the start of that, where they're also fighting eyes and... Oh, yeah, where they pretty much show you exactly what will happen in the previous part that was showing that. Essentially just I've recapping seen, it. I've seen Yichiko eyes and fight, anyway, the final one. Can I revert the Platinum Sukumon to then digivolve again to then have it higher? Because I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I might digivolve up and then back. Yeah, that works. This is really pissing me off. Okay, are you playing Crystal? Why wow, you actually guessed it. I mean, A, you kind of said you're going to be playing it, B, it makes a bit of sense. Um, Considering its opening is actually di completely different to the original Gold and Silver. Okay, what? Catch Momomon, Eatmon, Vatamon. I don't really care who you digivolve it into as long as you go back to the... I don't see what you say you want to hire. Have you... You've got these three, but not that one. Yeah, right. because that catch my mom's new to this game. Okay. Has this one digivolved before? Who? The one that I'm about to digivolve. No, nothing beyond playing of Sukumon. Alright. Whatever's... Digivolve back. How? What? Okay. Even on... Is that the one you were talking about? Huh. That's Vatamon's Mega. Natural. Hercules, High Andromon. Alright. Hey, high Andromon's Mega. So, Andromon's Platinum Mega. Sukumon is different to, to Sukumon. Oh, well, duh. There you go. Um. Max 74. He's yep. going back to his stats. <laughs> Mac 999 defense at level 1. Yeah. In exchange for 1 intelligence. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I was wondering about that. <laughs> no wonder you, you get slam dunk. There's got to be a trade-off. Yeah, that's generally what it is. Um, Vader Mind Lords. I can fine. say, haven't we come a long way? <laughs> oh, looking at the game. <laughs> As I said, haven't we come a long way? Ooh, should I digivolve? No. Wait, yes. Yes, go Sadamon, that's what we want. Is that Totodile? That doesn't look at all, half bad, that one. Not the biggest fan of it, but alright. Uh, Die Portal one, or... Have you got these already? Yeah, Grand Dracomon I got just before. The uh, Abortum one I haven't done this game. Not the Creepy Mon, but... I'm well, not worried about them too much. What's the max level skull Satan Mon, actually? Um... 87. 87. I'll probably give him as a Skull Satamon, actually. So if we go back to Arcanimon, oh, 
Ardu Cardimon, and then go back to we'll go back to him and El Gigi on to level 99. Don't worry about Arcadium or oh, Ardu Cardimon ultimate yet. I need to get the other Ardu Cardimon forms anyhow. Goldenmon. Max a life now. Oh, hang on. Fifty-three. Sixty-five. All right. Huh? Um. Shell Numemon. Uh huh. Typical starter. Go back to Numemon. This, this game's not actually too bad. It's just. It's like the amount of different games I play. Did I just screw up again? I screwed up. So, did you want anything from these? Yeah, uh, we got a little new one. He's got to go out to Black King Numemon. Then back down. So we can get Platinum Numemon. Let's really check his Digivolutions though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Prince Mon, one, yeah. Numemon, Mummymon. Golden Numemon. Which... Did I say his HP right? Huh? I thought I saw 66 there, I must have been combined about HP and SP, my bad. You're an idiot, yeah, you're officially idiot. Speak for yourself. I have to say that about you, level 99 max. Significantly increases. Again, there has to be a trade off. Gotta have some form of trade off. There's no real major games coming out this year, is there? Uh, Final Fantasy, Fantasy s no, um, Kingdom Hearts 3. It is later in the year, at, this, at this point in time. We um, don't know if it'll get delayed again. Um, there is Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, 23rd of February, in the West, 8th of February in Japan. <sighs> Most around the world, I think um, so. If you've got a Switch, you can get Mario Tennis Aces in a couple of months' time. I say a couple of months because it's a rough guess because it's out sometime between March and July, I think. So I've heard. Camaraderie break drum on your friend. Yeah, 100% camaraderie. 100% camaraderie, I need 100 ABI anyway with DNA digitalition, which I don't have. ABI. I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about getting the excellent one for the time being anyway. Carbic Terramon. So you want. Hercule, okay. Jeez. I don't grief there. Alright, um. None there. Really? Type 3 attribute yeah, fire. Lucemon. What the hell is with this oh, thing? I'd cut him on. What about him? Nothing. What is it supposed to be? Yeah, but the way he's made, the way he's formed in the series, he's not given a level. You would essentially class it as a mega, but. It's not really a beginning eleven. Shoutmon is basically just a rookie. Oh yeah, he's one I needed to digivolve too. Because I can get the bottom one, I think. Yeah. So he needs to go into the he needs to go into the party to get leveled up. What was his level again? Max level. Max level nine nine, yep. Plenty of room. So level six he can get up there easy. Get him into the party. You have to go move, of course. 
can I? You can't do it through the digitalization screen. What are you gonna, willing to lose? Uh, I goofed. I realized what I did wrong. I it, changed the gold new one. Oh, brought it back down to a new one. Why did you go to new one? <laughs> this is what happens when you're so used to getting bloody new one in digital world. You. <laughs> Get rid of Clockmon. Why? He's already staying at max level he can have for the time being. That one? Yeah, it doesn't matter which aren't. Now you had you put Duramon in? Yep. Cool. Now the only thing I'm more or less. Now don't goof again for the love of. No. I'll do what I want. Oh shut up you. I just want some more Digimons. Um, I can't see what's on your YouTube channel right now, so you're gonna have to tell me. My YouTube channel? Yeah, your channel. What do you know about my channel for? This is your, this is your recording. Or is no. it because I've been putting videos out and you haven't? Maybe that. I think there was a strong hint of, yeah, duh. <laughs> like, no, no shit, I never would have guessed that was what we're after. What are you doing with him? Oh, he's finally thinking of actually cracking him out. Some headphones. Well, I want to watch a YouTube video, but I don't want to have a plane while we've got that recording. You're going to be distracted. Oh, yeah, and it's not as if you don't get distracted. Oh, but I'm playing Digimon. You pick a crit. Oh, fuck. Um, skill. Horn blast off. Skill. Whoops. Sorry for all that racket there, folks. That sounds when you're opening something wrapped in plastic. Yeah, um, skill, you've got no. No, I don't have any useful right now. <laughs> Since when do you ever? When I'm normally playing other games. That are not Digimon? Outside of Digimon. Oh, really? Do I have to slow you down? Um, slow? There's no skills that I've got that slow any down. Hmm? No, 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 no. It's I'm not saying that. Oh. Um, I'm trying to slow down this one, all right? You have, you have like how like Platinum Super One's HP is, but his defense is so high it counteracts it. Yeah. He takes a damn physical beating. Oh come on! Seventeen points kills it. Uh, yep. Yeah, like when I first started using him, I'm, I battled another one damage. What? Now look, he's just like, okay, that explains it. You can always tell that there's going to be a trade-off in these kind of games. Yes, yeah, Pokemon's similar in that regard. Hmm. It's a balancing act with these kind of games. What am I doing? Just run around. I just square X, square X. Yeah, but it's it's it saves you literally running around though. That's what I'm saying. Like, why am I running around? Um, yes. You don't happen to have one of those items that speeds up the. What's the word for it? Um, scan rate. Really again? Uh, okay, right again. Yeah, it's no surprise. Well, he is like level at the minute, so. Um, is it the researcher USB? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, not at the moment, no. How do I get it? I have no idea. Hurry up, you stupid thing. Skill. Just throw shit. Like, literally throw shit. Well, that, that's what Platinum Superman no, does. No, no, not the wabbit. Bad wabbit. Good wabbit. I will kill you, wabbit. Stupid rabbit mon. And uh, Tyler mon is not called rabbit mon. Oh, what are we looking? Uh, Lobo mon. Nope. Slater mon. Not the one I'm after. Oh, 
music to my ears. What? Uh, that. Um, I'm asking what videos you got in your bloody channel so I know what, like, news is news and what isn't news. Well, of recent times, let me just thanks with my channel Because I've only just done Nucky Vento so far for the year. I've got another video that I've got to upload. I'm going to upload another tonight or tomorrow. Like, Probably tomorrow. Well, I'm, I'm going to upload it within about half an hour of finishing this and uploading this. Because it's to do with um, one of the items that come in the Aki Bento. Um, a bit of a show of what to do to sort of improve things. Well, at the moment, my most recent one, which was a month ago, mm. is as bad as me. a hollow realization, sort of non hollow realization skill fusion video, which was answering a question by a uh, viewer who left the, qu left the question in the comments for me. Probably wasn't as concise as I would like, but I suppose I've gained, gone over what I need to do. I've got some character overview videos, which I'm going to get back into soon because of Fatal Bullet coming out. I have a filly of theory for Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, which I'm doing a news video of. Well, to do with at the moment, which is just about finished editing, so it should be up soon. Uh, as I say, soon should be hopefully within the next few days. Speed so restraint too. Yeah, uh, brings down the speed bonuses you get, or the bonuses you have in your stats, which if you go into the screen, that stat screen once that finishes. If you go into the stat screen, I said, triangle. Shut up, I'll get there eventually. Stats, damn it. Huh? Stats. What's that? You now your Digimon screen. Settings, triangle, after that. So you notice up the top left, top right hand corner there where they got the plus zero next to the stats? Yep. That's what the restraint chips are for. They bring them back down to zero. Because those plus zeros are actually boosts to each individual stat which you can get through training and things, and other items. The ones with the items are only where the items are equipped. Okay. Bug, dot, stun. Dot is probably the worst of a lot of them. I wouldn't worry too much about equipping those. Uh -huh. But anyway, yeah, I've got character overviews, which, uh, let's see, at the moment. The most recent one is Asuna, then we have Sinon, Persona Vaba, which I won't spoil her actual identity. You shut up because you figured it out there one day when I showed you. Who? Hey. Persona Barbell. And the first one of them I did was Kirito. I have a sort of online whole realization how to how to do mini series, which was the skill fusion quests. Healer, tank, buffer, and attacker. Not not in that order of the videos though. Before that, I had the character and DLC showcase. I had content update. Wow, we are going to probably do another one of those, a quick one. Uh, yeah, and then some Let's Play stuff and other <clears throat> things, the top 10 video in there. Yeah, got a few, not much a one way of recent at the moment, because I haven't been particularly active with other games besides Sword Art, but I'm sure I can do something. I've got a couple of playthroughs I wouldn't mind doing, which I can do regardless of what's been going on with YouTube. Uh, see, I've got a one. speaking of that... Hmm? It brings to question how how's the whole apocalypse thing going? Oh, yeah. that no, they changed the fuck. They changed how you can get yourself in the situation where you can monetize your videos. Like now, you cannot. Uh, what was it last year? You cannot monetize full stop until you reach a certain number of subscribers and minimum watch time. Uh, they changed it again to you need a thousand subscribers, like more or less permanent people subscribed, and four thousand views over the course of a month before you can start monetizing. Um, oh, I haven't got that many views over a month, so no, that's of no um, 
loss to me. I'm not mon I haven't monetized any of my videos to begin with, so again, no loss. Well, I can't monetize it anymore, so basically all the videos I do are just for free. With... You wouldn't have been getting anything out of monetizing it nah. anyhow, so... I might as well not have even bothered putting the monetizing on, because um, what that did was basically the... Basically, if you at the moment, if you're small channels like we are, monetizing is just pointless. Mm. That's why I... Because you get maybe a cent over the course of a month, like, what's a cent going to do? You lose... You might, you, you, you might you'd as well... You'd be more likely to lose that in tax. Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> gain a cent and lose seven because of... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's not pretty even much. worth it. You yeah. can't even declare that, either. Because it's not actually work. So it's a bit, um... Stupid. Hurry up. Chrome on. Well, I was about to go on. I don't know what you're saying. Are these fatal bullet scans or not? Um, I think the big thing I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks is... I'm going to Sydney for ITX. I think I told you that. There's going to be a video that... Sort of a documentation, so to speak, of it, and that's what most people do. Bye. Oh, absolutely nothing there. Um. Okay, no, that's cool. That is so cool. Uh, Where can I find the um? Scanner. Scanner? Yeah, scanner. There's no scanner in the scanner. The scanning thing. That's what your Digimon are giving you. Hmm? I'd put those in the... in get received items. Uh, the research a USB. Yeah. I ha honestly have no idea for this game. I'm surprised I didn't pick one up through the story mode. I got virtually every chest I could get. Well, you might just have to use the developer now and see what they give you. I don't know which lot it's in, though. I'll have to check the first game. Right. I'll have to check the thing for the first game. Don't worry about it for the time being. Alright, well, Farm Island... Because I need to get the guide up for the first game. Let me have a look. Um, did I say that? Farm Island. God, I hope I did. Uh, what have we got here? That's like L2 Sandra. Well, no. Kingdom Hearts. Open Scene 2. What the hell? Is that? There we go. That's 5. Now we need to get the development patches. I don't know if I've even got any. Now I'll be in the, in the inventory. If I have any. Inventory. Oh, I must have saved it. Oh, wait. No, I didn't use Don't worry about that. Something before then. Items. Farm goods. Uh, no, they'll be in with the regular items. Yeah, I got a lot of metal, metals. I gotta get them to the metal man. Point, but no, I'm not going to worry about it at the minute. It gives you yeah. a month. It gives you a month. We got uh, usable items. Those three bottom ones, uh, four bottom ones there actually, they are bonus items for having uh, completed or well, laid save file of the first game, but I think actually one of them you got to have completed. I can't, I couldn't tell which one it is. No. I'm, not, I'm not using them at the moment. Uh, let's see. Get going. Development patch. I've got two, need to get another eight. Either, oh look, actually, while you're, at, while you're there, go into the Digibank. Go through each individual Digimon and find ones who have Builder as a personality. And you can press R1 or R1 to get, go quicker, by the way. A good one want? does. A good one's the only one in the party that does. Check the um, other Yep, yeah, come on, I've all Digimon. Uh huh. Because the ones you can find with it, that means you don't have to. And check the actual Digibank itself. Yep. Galmon. 
Oh, and three. Oh, power mine. Is that party? No. Oh. That one. No, nah, that's it. Oh, it's a gecko mine. Ha! <laughs> yeah, Um, so you're going to be doing Sword Art Online videos. I would say, can I do the Digimon videos first? <laughs> Oh, we got a friggin' video series to start up again, but whatever. Minecraft? No, not Minecraft, but that's one. Which no, one? friggin' Gran Turismo. We never started that to begin with, really. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, I won't do Gran Turismo Sport because that was glitching your gun and went to the heck. Really? I don't know why, it's just, it's like Crash Bank and Insane Trilogy. It was glitching it out to the heck. Okay, so, so it's basically just doesn't like him. It, yeah, it's not playing ball. Uh, let's see, directly item list, shop listings, a lot of development, here we go. Square, punch and call. Research USB is in the same as a tactician. And that is, you gotta win it. I don't know about hacker's memory, but for the first game it's under the thousand yen option, which I imagine would be the same in, the, in hacker's memory. But you only get one each time, though. And the large capacity is building a USB are under the 10,000 yen. Right, I'm gonna have to go like find a word document for that shit. Whatever. Um, need a word document. Look on game facts. Yeah, make a word document out of it. I could copy it over into onto a notepad thing here if I wanted to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is gonna take a while, that's all. You, can, you have to, like, actually play the game real time to get the items, right? Um, it's, not, sure not, not quite, it's not actually quite connected to real time, actually. No? It works like, I don't know what it is, but it works slightly different. And, oh my god, the nostalgia. I have not played this game in so long. Should I probably should battle. I'll battle the next route. Uh, what am I doing that for? Oh, hey, hey. Force counter. Can I, I wonder? Yes! Woo! There we go, try Saruman. Skill. <laughs> the best, best part is... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. See, I'm only going to be doing... I'm you gonna can actually open your... St in this one, I think it's the same for the, the Red Bull and Yellow, but you can open your start with like Start or X. So they cater to both both sets of players. Oh, okay. I'm always doing it with X now, so I'll probably just do it with that, but I can remember the days when you had to do it with Start. I mean, you can remember that and re remember it, probably. Yep. Oh, God, that's a long time ago now. Yeah, Emerald, Emerald Day event, a little 13 years ago. About that. For me, it's closer to 20. Maybe you started pretty close to when it first well, started. Came out. I think I started playing Pokemon not long after they come out over here. 98, I think. Yeah, they were released in English in 98, yeah. I think, that... I, started, I think I started around about 99. Because I had Yellow, was, I think Yellow was nearly my first game. Mm. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, sweet. Wait, well, haven't we come a long way in the battle scenes? Oh, just a bit. <laughs> now, one thing I'm looking forward to this year will be, um, once I've got a few, th few more things... I'll be actually able to record a few different things. Uh, did you break? Uh, low. Oh, I've, I've got a heap of games so I could um, record if I wanted to. I got some here, try Ceremon! Although, to see you're still going to have to go down and then back up because of the way the levels work. Probably. 
check it's max level. 40, now you have to go into the Digivolve menu and check it's Digivolutions. Yeah. Breakdown runs the one. Breakdown runs the one I need, so he's got 8 by 20, so you're gonna have to de Digimon. Uh, 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 uh. You think you got Digimon, DNA Digimon, that was Slayer Dramon to get Examon. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking how, and, and you're thinking so, how the hell does that plus Slayer Dramon equal Examon? Generally, a DNA Digimon, Digimon shares. Things from both forms, and he doesn't. Nice. He <laughs> he. Um. Oh crap! What did I do wrong? Wow, we we've come a long way. Oh. Okay, so the maximum level for um for the monochrome one. 27. I've got to level him up. I've got to backlog him again. What was his... What was his digitalization level? 28. <laughs> Both of them are 28. Hackmon. Just check his one, the monochrome one. Interestingly, he does have one there... As well, level 20. But that name, you're going to be able to get the level to it. It's going to be one, one of these. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> what was Monochrome Ons? Oh, it's spewing if it's... 14. 14. We'll go up to him and then back down, which will allow you to get the one that's blacked out. And then you can go back up to yep. the... <laughs> This is the... It's the fun thing about these sort of games where you got to do, do so much work just to get something. <laughs> just to go back to where you started. But yeah, it's quite fun to do it, though, because you think you have it. You see, how the hell do these even match up to what the hell they're meant to be? Oh, I should have enough room to put... 116 out of 240. Grab the town map. Um, put Hackmon there. Oh, no. Full team. He should be out of digital too. Huh? How to cut him on? Uh, which one? How to cut him on? Oh, Arcadium one. Got yes, it. remember, how to cut him on officially. Gonna leave him a skull Saturn one because I know how to get there. I know how to get the rest of them there. Because if you digital into skull Saturn one, you'll have a max level ninety nine, which is what I want. Huh? I can get there. I can get the other forms out of cutting on later on. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about digivolving him any further. Okay, so I can put him away. You can put him on farm or whatever. Yeah. All the work you've got to do just to play. Because you'll level up on the farm anyhow. So. It's just constantly doing shit. Um, hang on. Party clockmon. Level three. That's right, I was about to put Act 1 into the party, and then you Digivolve. So this year I'm going to restart, I'm going back into Breath of Fire 3, I'm going to do Digimon World 2003, I'm going to be on Minecraft, as I was talking to you on the way back from town, I'm going to be doing Digimon, uh, Minecraft. Probably both on, Digimon Worlds that you've got. I'll probably do both Digimon Worlds. Uh, Minecraft will be Xbox 360. I'm just going to completely devastate the world, and it'll be if people have questions, I'll answer the questions. I have a few. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to get a I'm, few mates to give me some questions with which I can use. Well, I already gave you a few samples when we got back. Uh, you know, you why do you have to write them down? Why do you YouTube that sort of those sort of talk questions? A lot of YouTubers I'm answering them. They're a good basis to start with. 
I mean, a lot of and people usually branch off those sort of questions too, so. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to get you to freaking write them down so I remember them. There we go. We're gonna go in for function. Um, I don't think I'm really doing much this year outside of just basically winging it. It'll be the same as last year, I think. This year it'll actually work out a little bit better because I'm doing shit this year. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a better idea of what I'm doing. Oh, get that same time again. Um, I'm probably my biggest one at the moment, besides any of my character stuff and a few other videos for Axel World vs. Sword Arm Online, will be Fatal Bullet. And probably some videos of Kingdom Hearts 3, my Elgato will handle it. If you're Elgato, yeah. Because Kingdom Hearts 3 is one of them games that's so high end with what it's got being Unreal Engine 4, that could make it very interesting. It might actually be, um. Although its graphics in compared to the games like Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which does not want to come out, it's actual while well, it's I end is not it's quite simplistic as far as Unreal Engine 4 goes. It might be you're you're gonna have to go out and actually get a um, HG60, Pro S. HG sixty S is the new uh, next one up for me. Yeah, which you've got the same model as mine. Cause that's the sixty. Yeah. So you'll need the Pro. I need the sixty S actually because the, the actual the HD sixty Pro is a is it basically one like my chip that you have to put into your computer and because my laptop wouldn't be able to have it at the minute because I don't even have to pull it apart and get someone to put it in for me, which is expensive. The, what? Oh, the... That shit. Um... Uh, Route 30. I'm not going to make any items because I'm going to... Armour, spirit, dinner, and load change. And it's... Yeah, but if you de digivolve a DNA, digivolve a Digimon, and all that, like, Digimon. Yeah, yeah, I need one of them, not both. I found that out the hard way with Mastemon. With fire ability, you may want to raise XP mod and Stigmon's ABIs a bit first. Yeah, well, actually, they've got to be 100 anyway. So. Plus, Stigmon change your levels. Duh. Yeah, okay. So, the. Okay, that's. Can I level him up? Black King Numemon. Don't dung goof at this time. Shut up. <laughs> no. He can actually get it right. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I know what I'm doing. I just done. Dare I answer that? He shouldn't have to. He should already have a level up there. It's not too far. Yeah, but have a look at his max level. Oh yeah, true. Once a, what, what may need a max level above 65, so... Yeah, that will be... 98. Uh, I now digivolve well my Hakuan into a Monochromon. Although, you want me to do one? You have to get, you have to get Monochromon first to get, to get Yeah, in. that's right. Because of the way the thing's wanting to work today. I mean, any other day, really. Uh, go back to Hakuan. Oh, I've always loved having to go back. I mean, you would have you would have seen it a bit in your your games. Hmm. We're having to go back and forth because they'd ha they'd have a field guide or something to fill out, wouldn't they? No, Digimon World 2003. Um, the way it works. Um, actually, because we're not really going to discuss too much in this part of the video, like this, this well, podcast, because there's not really much to discuss. We might as well. We're going to record for. The first episode of the Informant. Um, so, bastard Caterpie. Um, where we actually discuss things. <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, we're not really talking much about what's got, what's been going on, what's going on. Well, we haven't really got much to. Do. I mean, I've been acquiring views and things like that. So. Yeah. Well, you you and I are gonna have to start. Writing yeah, down the shit that's been going on. I've got a view. I've got quite a heap of views and subs. And oh, I uh, don't need to do it. Took that. me a while to catch up to you and subs. Every time I can get one or two behind you, you'd somehow get another couple. I don't think I've gone up. No, you haven't. I'm there in front of you. I can tell you though, when I checked your channel just before for the documentary, you've, you've got 42 views on that. That's the one I How? 
One of us. That was like six days ago or something you put it up, I think it said. Yeah. It was, um... Which I have seven views a day, if you want to work it out. If indeed it was like that. But that's no, just, no, it, that's it, just it jumped and then stopped, so... Yeah, but that's easy, Matt's just to make it sound simple. Yeah, well, seven days, seven so views I mean, a I'll day go, is pretty I good. I mean, my, my, um... Uh, my uh, whole realization of attack skill, uh, attack skill fusion video has got nearly two thousand views, and that's been up for a while now. Hmm. Just level up a Digimon to. Oh, not this one. All right, let's see. Skill. I'm not letting this damn freaking bow thing kill me again. <laughs> I'm not picking up the items because of his cloning, which works, but we're not going to make any difference. Um, I suppose we'll see him there. I hope they enjoyed. Uh, this video will be obviously going out prior to me going out to up to Sydney, so. Oh my god, this is my annoying I'm actually trying to buy well, shit. I'll have, actually, I'll have to make a sort out, actually, I'll have a sort out online video too soon. Probably. Next couple of days. Alright, so we got some discussing to do in terms of stuff. It's a bit different my to what one, we normally discuss. My next one will be, if I remember correctly, a Kuroyuki Hime character overview video. That's right, Kuroyuki Hime. The lead girl from Axel World. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Zuba Egamon. <laughs> it's Super Egamon. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we can get like the Monochrome on there. Because his next one. He's... Matthew? What's his special move do? Mm. <laughs> oh, boy. Eh, don't worry about it. Go it. Phantom on. I Dur think his natural Duramon is Duramon. Duramon's his natural one, yeah. We're going to have to go back and get that. And Phantomon. Well, you've already got... Uh, I've seen finish. him, but not actually got him. Alright, so we'll stop it there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget, leave, like, comment, subscribe. Um, as I was saying, questions, ideas, what I can discuss for the Minecraft videos because those will be questions uh, and answers. My, answer my question for that one right right now, are you literally destroying the world down to bedrock? Just to, uh, just to make sure I'm on the same page as what you're thinking. I'm gonna be flattening it out. Um, so you're going down. I'm to gonna be basically flattening it out enough area to then be able to work down to bedrock, so I can actually you know keep planting trees and shit, so I don't run out of wood. Um. I think, yeah, down at Bedrock, I think, would be well, roughly what my plan to, is. You're planning to do that at some point, so I think, from memory. Yeah, the thing is, I kind of need, um, I wouldn't, I'll need I, some help with it every now and then. I wouldn't dare try to do it on a PS4 world. Oh, no, yeah, no, I'm... I could if I had a small world, but not one of the large worlds, no way. Oh, you got a Zubamon world before. Zubamon? I believe I would have, yes. I'm going back to my Digimon though. <sighs> now to keep going back. Um, so yeah, this is already 13. Oh, before I completely leave, Band 0073. Like, comment. Oh, it's not going to be on his channel, but um, subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. And again, like, subscribe, comment, that kind of shit. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, have a nice day, and we'll see you next month, because <laughs> that's how, that's like roughly what the plan is at the moment, so. Yeah, sounds about right. What, what, what do you say, bro? What, you made now smoke up those tires, then I'm rubbing out of here or something? Oh. <laughs> what else did you want? I'm flying out. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.